The Mula says unfair dismissal, long shifts with no overtime payment, unfair deductions and unsafe working environment without adequate personal protective equipment need to be addressed urgently. He therefore called on employers to respect the country's labor laws. It is very, very worrisome to observe that some of the security companies are contravening their foresight collective agreement and the provision of the Labor Act number 11 of 2007, particularly Chapter 3, on the basic condition of employment and Chapter 4 on health and safety, which is quite very important also in the security industry. So the basic condition of employment is a set rule. So and each and every employer needs to abide by that. The Security Association of Namibia caters for the employees in the security industry and aims to promote and protect the interests of employers, employees and consumers in Namibia. The association is looking into matters such as creating a pension fund for its members. The idea is to have for security officers, even though many of the members have their own pension fund, but is to have also to look into that aspect that a security officer that's actually working for you for 30 years should actually also step away with at least uh, a pension to sustain himself. The organization has been engaging different stakeholders such as NAMPOL, Ministry of Labor, Industrial Creation and Employment Creation, as well as the members to allow them to achieve some of its goals.